Let me give you the third place to go. It's to go to the new person or the next person that has not yet come to know the love of Christ in a way that gives them hope. And God wants to use you to reach them with that message of grace and hope and purpose. And he's simply saying, will you trust me? Will you go? You know, in Luke 15, Jesus tells the story to make the point, and he says, hey, you know, like, suppose there's a guy who had 100 sheep. And the guy who's got 100 sheep, if one got away, and it's interesting to me, Jesus asked, the, he asked this in the form of a question. He goes, what do you suppose he would do? That's the New Living Translation. And what Jesus was doing is he was engaging the hearts and the minds of everyone who was listening to him. And again, there's a part of us, I mean, like most of us, if it was us and we had a hundred widgets and we lost one, all of us would probably be tempted to say, you know, that's pretty good. Dude, it's like if I ever got a 99% on a test in school, cha-ching, I mean, like that, you can't, I can't get much better than that. That's 99 out of 100 is not bad. And I got to believe there are some people who are listening to Jesus say that and Jesus said, uh, What he said next blew him away. And he says, no, here's what you would do. This is what the kingdom of God is like. He says, the loving shepherd would leave the 99 and he would commit everything he had to go find the one. 